how to cut your own undercut at home. That is the topic of today's video. Now, I just want to give you a disclaimer that I'm not going to actually cut the undercut, but I'm going to do what's just as important is the sectioning of the undercut because I get a lot of people messaging me saying, how do you prevent from messing up the undercut, from creating uneven sectioning? And if you're doing this yourself at home, you have a lot more time on your hands and control than if you were to go to a barber shop or a salon or whatever and have them screw it up. And I've seen, unfortunately, a lot of situations and scenarios where people have come to me where the undercut itself, the shaved part, the disconnected part is so uneven. And I'm gonna give you like an example of what I'm talking about. So let's just say, let's just comb all this back and let's just do one of these, okay? Let's just create a section. Let's say you have an undercut and your sectioning is like this, right? You've got this hair down low here, this is real high, but you're like, I'm stuck with it because that's what my barber does, so I guess it's fine. You, you know deep down it's not right, like, but you're just like living with it and accepting it. So if you have an undercut, right, and I'm just gonna kind of briefly touch upon this, if you have it, if you've had this done by someone else, if somebody else created a crime on your head, you have to become your own detective, right? This became, this is now a crime scene in your head. So what you need to do, <laughs> What you need to do, and let me even do this, because this is even more common. Let me just get these pieces up here. All right, there we go. So this is something you may, you may see, and I've seen this, sadly, so many times uh, in my career. So if, this, if you're a victim of a haircut, a haircut crime, what you need to do is really pick out the highest point of where the kind of uneven section is because unfortunately the lowest it's it's already like it's too late because this is already all shaved off so i, I mean you know you, you're going to get rid of this anyway but what you need to do is find the highest point and this also this also does pertain to if you're doing this yourself it's going to kind of segue into each other but the first thing that you see that i have are what hair clips, these things right here. I do sell these on my website. They're com they come in very, very handy. I've got my own hair cutting combs as well. This little gap right here that you can see, if you look up close, this little gap right here, no, it's not because it's broken. It actually allows you to, slot, to kind of section the hair with ease so that you can really separate, right? And, and section the hair out. That's what that little gap is for. So you can, it's like, really creates a much better um, sectioning mechanism. So these clips, and these are really, really, really strong. They support the hair with a lot of grip. So you can really get the hair out of the way to section it. So what you need to do is make sure you have clips. Make sure you've got a hair cutting comb. You can even you know, get a spray bottle and spray your hair down so that you have a lot more control over it. Over it. I'm doing it dry because I'm used to doing it. But if you're new to this, I would say, you know, spray down your hair on top. I wouldn't necessarily uh, wet this part when you were using the clippers. Just do it on top where you're gonna be sectioning the hair because it may be a little bit easier to section the hair off while it's damp, okay? Now, how do you go about doing that? So first, let's go back to the section where it's so uneven, right? You've got high points, low points. If you have high points on your head that are like, it's so bad where it's way up here. The only option you have is to really just connect the dots and find the highest point to make it even. So let's do that here. And let's take this and now let's connect from the highest point right here. That this is where the comb's gonna come in handy. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw a straight line. Come on, this mannequin head. You're gonna draw a straight line. Okay, make the clip may cause some resistance. You're gonna draw a straight line all the way to the front. And then what you can do is you can clip this hair out of the way immediately. And then you can go back to that section that was too high. What I usually do is I can clip, you can clip 
your shirt. You can do whatever you want to get the clip out of the, out of the way. There, I'm gonna release it from my shirt, and then you can clip that out of the way. And look what we've done. We've now created a perfectly even section that is going to allow you to cut an even undercut. Now, the only problem with this is look how high this is. It's way too high. So that means you're gonna have all this hair buzzed off, and you're gonna end up being left only with a small amount of hair on top. That's the problem, and that's why I say it's a crime scene, because if somebody does that to you, you're gonna need re reconstructive surgery on your head, all right? Basically, they screwed you, I hate to say it, and they messed up your hair bad, because once it's too high, it's too high, okay? You're gonna have to create or find a new section and just let that hair grow, it's gonna stick out, it's gonna look awful, but nine months down the road, and when the hair is finally reach where it needs to be, you can then start fresh and start over. But unfortunately, if you're one of those victims of a bad haircut, you are stuck with that until you find out a growing process or a plan to really fix it because, you know. And let me know in the comments below if you've be, been a victim of a haircut crime, okay? So, now, if you are doing this yourself and you have no issues whatsoever, you're creating a new undercut or you've got a perfectly balanced section and it's all ready to go and you're just trying to cut it, all you need to do is just, it depends on what you want to do. Do you want to do a number two into a number three, number three into number four, you want to do a fade? That's not what this video is about. There's loads of videos out there. I've already done videos on how to actually cut it, but the clipper, the buzz length or the clipper length really depends on you. What's just as important is making sure that the section you have is perfectly even, like I have it right here. Now, the shorter the undercut part, like look at my hair here, the shorter the undercut, the more obvious it's going to be when this hair comes over, right? It's gonna be a lot more obvious, something similar to this kind of haircut, okay? When you brush this back, you can clearly see it's all faded and it's an undercut. So the shorter you go, the more obvious that it's gonna be, and also throughout the back here, it's gonna look almost like you have, you know, a slight mushroom on the back of your head, but that's totally fine. That's become a lot more acceptable these days. If you leave it longer like this, where it's probably, I don't know, a number four guard, and it looks a little softer, it's not gonna be as obvious, right? And the longer you have this to lay over it, but still, as you can see, it almost doesn't even look like there's an undercut because of there being length throughout the sides here. That's the thing. So now what do you do when you're going to try to attempt doing this yourself? Again, I can't emphasize, emphasize how important clips are. These clips right here, I sell these on my website shop.thesalonguy.com, also a hair cutting comb. And don't be afraid to dampen the hair. And a great little t tip is you could put the clips right here on your sleeve, right? Just load them up right on your sleeve, right in through here. This way you have them ready to go, ready and very, very handy, or you can clip them on the bottom of your shirt. So what you wanna do is you wanna comb the hair first. While looking in the mirror, just comb your hair and start to see where the separation is happening, right? You wanna to start to see where is the hair separating. If you comb it too high and you see all sorts of hair, you're gonna eventually get to the point where I suggest combing straight up. When you comb straight up, all the short hair is gonna fall right down. So comb all the way straight up and look for where the hair actually uh, disconnects and where it's separated. Even comb this down. So once you see that, especially if you're new to this, take your first clip, lay it flat against the scalp and clip that hair out of the way. Continue to do so, right? Comb up like this and get that hair out of the way. So now you're basically using two clips to section off this hair and what you have right here is a perfectly good area of hair to, you know, create your undercut. Now, when it comes to the back, you can do this all in one shot, right? It's the same thing, comb the hair upwards. If you feel that you want it to come down to a V, all you need to do is use one hand to hold the hair, right? And I know it's gonna be tough with having a mirror, and that's, what be, that's where it becomes very, very difficult. But if you have someone that can help you, <laughs> But what you really want to do is 
Uh, and I know there's tools out there. There's like, there's like mirrors you can attach to your wall or to your mirror that almost looks like you don't have to hold anything. You got, you're surrounded by mirrors. I know they exist. If you want to have it straight across, you just hold that and comb it, right? It's all about using the tip of this hair cutting comb to create the sections to make sure that they're all even. You're basically going from point to point to point to point, right? If you want to come down a little bit more like this, so it's more towards the center, so there's not so much of a you know, dramatic, it's not so high, you have some hair back into here, then you can come down at an angle like this, right? And then I would suggest if you have enough clips, you can literally clip up the entire thing uh, in one section, right? Or what you could do is you could take this all, if you have a haircut to where the undercut section is cut perfectly to your liking, you could take all of this or a lot of it and clip it off in one section like so, all right? It's completely out of the way. Then you, then you get all this and you take all the hair that is in on the top and you just clip it all out of the way so that you have all of it out of the way and ready to cut, all right? And yeah, there may be a few stragglers. I'm just like literally doing this super, super fast here. But there you go. Just clip it out of the way, you know? This way it's easier to uh, maintain it, easier to handle. That's why multiple clips come in handy. You can follow the line right there. Just you never, 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 never want to go too high, okay? It's always good to stop the clipper, the tip of the clipper guard right before you see the disconnection. If you go too high, that is where you're gonna create those uneven jagged pieces and then you're gonna end up being screwed. So it's always best to make sure you have a clean area. You can even pull the hair on top out of the way if you even want a more precise section like this. Go with the clipper up with the clipper guard up to that right here. Again, establish how short or how long you want that to be. You want to zero fade it, then you know you can search on YouTube how to fade your own hair, how to you know fade a skin fade at home. All these there's so many videos on that. But the important part, which is just as important as the length, is creating the sectioning, right? So you don't end up with jagged, uneven, disconnected parts because that really is a nightmare. And again, if you've had this done by someone else, I've seen it numerous times where I've had to actually patch it up and balance it out and even it out. But I've seen, I've seen just monstrosities on these heads of people that they've been paying that person to do this to them and it's just awful. So make sure it's even, if you are a barber watching this, if you're a stylist watching this, please practice this. Make sure your sectioning is even. Stop doing this to people where it's just, you're taking a bunch of hair and throwing it up and just like, you know, you're clipping it and you've got all jagged on it. Just don't do that because you're really messing up a lot of people. It's like giving someone a lineup or an edge up that doesn't need it, okay? Like you're, you're ruining their hairline, these poor people. So that's my opinion. Let me know if you found this video helpful. If you are interested in purchasing the clips, use code YouTube20, that's YouTube20 at shop. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.